Hey guys, tonight we're taking a look at the LBX Titan Lite or uh, LBX 4000 LT. Uh, it's one of their, their many packs. Uh, I think they have a full-size Titan and then they've got this and then maybe they have a smaller Titan as well uh, before you start getting into uh, some of the other random bags that they have. But I, I want to say the, the Titan family itself has three different sizes. And I believe this is the middle ground. Uh, so... I don't have a lot of time with this bag. I haven't used it very much, um, but I find the LBX kind of ecosystem kind of fascinating. I think it's really well done. And if they had not gone with three quarter inch buckles for the attachment, I think uh, it would be more popular. Uh, but the way that it's set up right now, you're kind of locked into only LBX products, which is kind of okay. It's well made. Um, they have a little bit of a strong affinity for Velcro, uh, but outside of that, I, I can't complain too much. Uh, however, this bag on the website always looked super, super boxy. Uh, it's very, very rectangular, uh, incredibly rectangular. Uh, it's actually kind of impressive that they made it as boxy as they did. Uh, so I assumed that it would just be a wildly uncomfortable pack. However, uh, from the little bit of time I have with it, uh, the padding on the back and the straps are not awful. Uh, it doesn't have a waist band, at least on this one. I don't remember if the bigger one does. Um, so you're not going to be overly inclined to use it as as a full blown ruck, uh, and it's a little a little much as an assault pack. I don't know, uh, but I don't think it's an awful bag. It's definitely better than it looks on the website. So let's get it on the table. Take a look at the features. There's not a lot of them, uh, so it should be a pretty qu quick video, uh, but just to kind of clear the air on what this thing is, uh, because LBX, LBT, that's kind of the reason why I started doing this in the first place. So let's get on the table. All right, so looking at this LBX Titan, uh, keep in mind the the features that are, are lacking. Uh, it doesn't have a, a waist belt. It's got a fairly stiff uh, rectangular profile. And I will say it fits me fine-ish with uh, essentially all the slack taken out of the shoulder straps. So going over top of a plate carrier, there, there's plenty of flexibility there to fit. It, it should, uh, sh you should have enough strap to go over plate carrier. The shoulder straps are sewn fairly narrow. Uh, so something like the LV119 doesn't cause you any issues uh, going around the neck. This is probably gonna be okay. Uh, if you've got a collared shirt, it's it's likely also going to be okay. I could I was I was very aware that the shoulder straps were touching my neck while while I was wearing it. Um, may or may not be a showstopper. Uh, it does have quick release buckles uh, at the bottoms of the shoulder straps, which is a nice feature uh, to include, uh, especially on something that's not going to be bearing a ton of weight, so that you're not going to have any durability issues there. It'll just make it easier to get on and off, especially if it's going over uh, kit with potentially antennas and, and what have you. Uh, there is some some nice enough padding. Uh, I don't know what I thought was going to be there uh, when I was looking at them or when I was looking at them on the website, uh, but it wasn't this, so I was impressed. It's got a nice channel for airflow, uh, some maybe maybe just for looks, uh, but some you know pathways for heat to dissipate off your back, uh, and it's 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 fairly rigid, so it shouldn't trap a ton of water in there. Uh, feels feels very closed celly uh, in there. Okay. Uh, looking at the sides, you've got three columns of pals rubbing, two rows and three rows. Uh, so enough for a longer pouch uh, or two two shorter pouches. Three is kind of a, an odd amount, but that's the size of the bag, so that's what you get. Um, if you only need two, great. You give you a little bit more standoff uh, from your arms and your armpits potentially, so it doesn't rub as much. Uh, you got a nice enough carry handle up top. A really, really strange pocket up here. Uh, that's not enough room for anything. It's the entire top of the bag, uh, but there's really not much depth to it, especially if the bag is full. Uh, <clears throat> just, just kind of there. Right. Pens, pencils, notebook, maybe. I'm not really sure. Uh, you got a couple pull tabs up here. You can lash things too. 
uh, potentially make yourself a slightly more stout handle, especially if you're sliding this under seats or something. On the front face, you have their Velcro panel with uh, three quarter inch buckles for attaching their back panels. All right, so any of the LBX back panels should fit on here. They're just all Velcro with two three quarter inch buckles. Uh, you could also have your own panels made. You don't, there's, there's so much Velcro in here. You really don't need the buckles at that point. Uh, but it's there if you want it. Uh, they've got a handful of back panels that may or may not make more sense than the Molly panel does on this bag. Uh, but that's kind of tough to tell. I don't think this is an ideal assault pack by any stretch. Uh, you've got another flat pocket up top. This one runs down to right here. Uh, so not, not overly small, but again, it's very, very flat uh, and kind of would be tough to get any, any items of any significance in there. Right. And then uh, when you open up the bag, you are pleasantly surprised to find that it is lined about everywhere possible with Velcro. Uh, so the top, the, the bottom, all the sides, everything is lined with loop Velcro. Uh, now, how big is this thing, you might be asking? Uh, I don't know. I should have used a tape measure, but this is America, and I will do anything uh, to avoid using metric. So we'll throw in uh, this PUF Rebel. That fits top to bottom very snugly without the, the faux suppressor, right? So uh, MPX, maybe, I don't know. I think they're fairly close in size. Something that had a sliding stock would for sure fit in there better. Uh, whether or not you're using it to transport a firearm, I don't know, but it's there. It works well enough. Uh, it should also fit their uh, go bag, which I have a, a different video on. Uh, that I think you could fit two of those side by side in here. At least one of them with one of the longer tearaway panels should fit in here fine. Uh, so, camera bag maybe I don't I don't know uh, drone bag I think it'd be pretty good for a drone bag if you were just wearing it as a, a regular uh, backpack or potentially uh, drone and chest rig maybe I don't know I would not I don't think I'd use it to transport a, a full plate carrier it'd have to be a pretty slick plate carrier uh, but you could get a pretty respectable. Uh, chest rig setup in here with potentially belt kit or or something like a unity clutch uh, to hold your your sidearm all all possible options right <clears throat> uh, on the lid you've got a couple of mesh pockets here right uh, obviously you can see how the mesh pocket works not much to write home to there uh, again very very flat pockets with no depth to them which is kind of disappointing because uh, any any items you throw in here that have any kind of mass to them are going to start um, distorting things, whether it be the front face or, or the pockets. Um, a little bit of a bellow to that would be nice. And then for a good measure, some more Velcro up here. Okay. Uh, and then that all zips up nicely. It does have a very nice wide opening. Uh, so if you were using this uh, and fully compartmenting your your items in here with various hook backed pouches you can get to all of them quite nicely uh even even when secured on the sides uh if that's the route you want to go uh world's your oyster there when it comes to velcro backed pouches okay uh, and then you know whether whether it has it or not that loop and just kind of the structure of the bag like it is surprisingly structured uh so I don't think it would be awful if you had a laptop in here or something along the, the back. I think they make a padded laptop sleeve, uh, but the, the whole bag has a, a lot of a lot of structure to it. Like you can tell, you know, it's it's empty, uh, but it really doesn't want to compress. Like whether it's whether it's air not wanting to come out of there, or or just the the abundance of loop Velcro in there keeping it open. Uh, it's it's got some body to it. Right. Uh, but there you go. That's the, the Titan Lite, the LBX 4000 LT. Uh, if you have any experience with any of the other bags or this bag, uh, please let me know in the comments what you used it for because I'm legitimately curious. Thanks, guys.